Hello everybody, we are back with more of the Oregon Trail. We have 230 miles of Pittsburgh, so let's go. It's just me, our station wagon, Nile, John, Tommy, Wiseau, and Paris versus the world. So everybody's doing fine. The road is impassable, finding a way around it takes it. Yeah, so that's basically the whole part of this game. There are random events that will happen, and it's up to you to, to bypass, to, um, to essentially um, make it through the game while dealing with these events and keeping your party members alive and yeah so every playthrough is going to be different in some way some food will oh crap how much food do we have 324 Paris was holding the map upside down you go an hour out of what it, it I don't even know why that happens it's like every playthrough I, I do like I don't even know what the hell Paris is even doing like holding the map upside down like uh, come on There's an awkward silence. Alright. Alright, so here we are in uh, per Pittsburgh. You fall asleep at the wheel and you crash into a park. What? Um, that, that's my fault, guys. I'm sorry. But here we are in the ruined ruin, uh, remains of Pittsburgh here in America. Uh, the United States. So here we are. There's basically two parts to this game. Actually, three parts, actually. There's uh, the riding where you're riding in your car and you're making it through to the next uh, area. And uh, there's, as you saw before the beginning of the game, there's the shootout section where you're actually shooting um, and all that. And then there's the uh, town section where these are basically your rest stops where you can uh, get your supplies and such and do whatever. So uh, let's let's just go through what you can do here. So let's start out with party. So you can rest your party. You can rest for however many hours you want. So I'll just show you. Let's just rest for two hours, just to give you a. Well, let's just rest for an hour. So when you rest, as you saw, it restores some of your health. Uh, you can use a med kit on somebody if it's necessary. Uh, like I said before, the med kit will restore about thirty percent of your health, I believe. You can choose to kill uh, off one of your members if. If you uh, so choose, I'm getting a little bit mm, cautious about Paris, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, you can talk to a stranger who happens to be nearby. So let's do that. Amanda's real anxious to take a hot, sh real, real anxious to take a hot shower again. Who's Amanda? Uh, such another one. No, oh, no one's there. My father is very sick, and we are resting here until he gets better. We have been pushing too hard, and our health has suffered. When my father is able to travel again, we will go at a slower pace. Alright. You can uh, check out what's going on with your car. You can choose to repair it if you have enough scrap. Um, when you use, The more scrap you use, the higher the rate of success will be. So like at 1 scrap is only 22, it's 32, 4 is 43, 5 is 53, uh, I mean 4, 4 is 53, 5 is 62, 6 is 70, 7 is 77, 8 is 83, 9 is 88, and... 10 is, is 92 percent so you know you're not a professional at built at um at um you know you're not a repairman so obviously even with 10 scrap there's still an eight percent chance of failing so that's the way how you repair your car you can also um set the pace you want your car to go you can go normal at 30 miles i mean slow at 30 miles per hour or move a little bit faster with 45 or push the car to its limits at 60 miles per hour the faster you go the more of a toll it will take on your car um, you can also get your upgrades on your car to make it, you know, travel through blizzards and stuff better if you so cho uh, so choose to. You can also check out the road map. So right here we're in Pittsburgh. We've traveled uh, 230 miles and our next landmark is in 200 miles. So um, Supply. You can um, you can see the time. Right now it's 12 a.m. When it's really early in the morning and late at night, the zombie activity is going to be really high. And right now it's deadly, so you do not want to go out unless you're, you have a death wish. Um... We have 6.5 fuel right now, 10 scrap, good in case we need to repair, 275 uh, food, um, 5 med kits, 399 ammo, 2 tires, 2 batteries, 2 mufflers, and 100 bucks, just in case. Alright. Um, you can scavenge for food if you want to, to go out there and see if you can find anything. Uh, there'll be randomly generated stuff out there for you to find. 
You can also trade with local people. A passerby wants uh, one of your battery for one of their tire. Nah, we're good. A survivor once has one muffler to offer for one of your... No thanks. And you can choose to keep waiting if you want to. And an hour will pass and there could be a chance that somebody new could come in with a trade. But there's no one here this time. <laughs> Sorry about that, my mic was off for a sec. Uh, you can also choose how you want to ration your food. Uh, you can give people, um, the amount of food that people in your party consumes each day will affect their health. Small, medium, and large portion sizes consume 1, 2 ounces, and 3 ounces of food per hour, respectively. So if you give them large amounts, their health will be pretty good. Medium, they'll be alright. And small, you'll be saving a lot of food, but it won't be so well. And we're going to be going with small because, well, sorry guys, uh, now John, Paris, and Tommy, um, I don't think I can afford to give you guys you no know, 10 ounces of food per hour. We're gonna go, we're gonna lose everything, so let's go with just one ounce of food per person. You can also check out what type of combat experience you have, but right now I don't have any combat skills, so can't really do anything with that. Town, you can choose to buy stuff. Right now in Pittsburgh, they have, oh, that's actually a good deal, only $4 for food. Uh, you can have, uh, buy scrap for $5, food for $4. $13 for gas, $28 for med kits, and $12 for ammo. Actually, right now, the prices are pretty low, so I, I can tell that they're actually randomly generated as well. Well, from a, from a certain range, that is. Um, so, yeah, you can buy most of the essentials here at towns, but remember, some towns won't sell everything, and some towns might not sell anything, actually. So you got to keep that in mind. You can't always rely on the towns to get your stuff. Got to make sure you uh, save up and trade if you have to. <clears throat> You can also choose to sell your stuff if you want to and get some money off of that, but right now we don't want to sell anything. You can also take up some jobs. Jobs are a very good way to get money um, or any uh, things you might need. Um, sometimes they could be med kits, but a lot of the times they're money. The, uh, this suicide mission is worth $24, which is n not even even uh, worth while as, as it should be. I mean, I've seen some hard missions, I mean, some suicide missions go for... Uh, Go for like eighty-one dollars, like near a hundred dollars. Like, and this is only twenty-four. I'm risking my life, like, for only twenty-four bucks. There's recovery missions where you, um, where you have to find, well, not find, but you have to make it to the end of the level. Essentially, that's basically what it is: make it to the goal and get the supply crate. Defense is where there's going to be a herd of zombies coming towards you. You have to shoot them down. Then there's bandit missions where you're basically going to be hiding behind a wall and you have to go on against bandits. Because almost every zombie movie. Um, it's gonna have bandits, you know, people just looting and killing and such. And you can, uh, in towns, there's gonna be an, this option right here is gonna be the auto shop, but in, uh, in, uh, landmarks, it'll be a combat trainer where you can, uh, learn new techniques. You can buy batteries, tires, upgrades, and repairs. Right now, I think our cars are alright. Yeah, our cars are alright. So, actually, let's rest. Actually, what time is it? Oh crap, we have to a little bit to go. Um, they, the zombies start lessening around 7 to 8 a.m. So, let's rest for maybe 7 hours and... Actually, no. Let's rest for a few hours and see if we can trade. Resting will restore your health, but if you wait for tra re trading, it will reduce it. So, gotta be careful of that. I just taken a sip of my iced tea there. Zombie activities is high. Not deadly, but still high. Actually, should we take on a job for five bucks? Just show you guys how it is? Sure. This is basically like that mission, like what we were doing before when we were heading to the car, except, you know, um, it was zombies, obviously. You can you can easily outrun these guys, but they can swarm you, and it will get a bit hard. Crap, especially when because this control. Oh crap! A bunch of them. Oh crap! Gotta reload. Shit! 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 Oh crap! A fat ass zombie. Oh crap! Swing around! Swing around! No, we just 
nearly got to it. Oh, crap. Oh, well. And as you can see, Flip has taken a little chunk of his health. Let's talk to a stranger real quick. My family got nuked by the... Oh, crap. I feel sorry for him. My family got nuked by the government back when the outbreak first started. I know they say there was no hope for them, but I can't imagine holding out for that long only to be killed by the people who sworn to protect you. Oh, man. It's horrible, man. I don't know how long we can keep breaking our legs in this damn car. Does that happen to you? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of an angel considering that, you know, people just break their arms in cars and stuff, like, for no reason. Once an infected person becomes incapacitated, it's only a matter of time before they turn. Normally, you would just shoot them or leave them behind, but I hear there are some nut jobs in Safe Haven that pay out the air for half and dead infected. Huh. Be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink only river water. Salty as the river is, it's better than infection. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this grave for my kids if you can spare time. Don't think we can. Good, sir. Uh, uh, so, yeah. I actually think we're good on some... Actually, we could use maybe one or two more cans of fuel. 13 bucks. For, let's get two gang, two more tanks, I guess. All right, so we're actually good now. We have 249 food. We we lower our ra we lowered our rations. Um, actually, let's wait until it's a little bit later in the day. So let's see if there's anybody to trade. With. Let's wait a few hours. meet someone who will spare you one of their tire for 19 of your ammo we don't even uh, I'm not too big on tires you need someone who will spare seven of their scrap for one of your tires seven scrap that's actually not not bad of a deal um 6 a.m. all right let's rest for maybe two hours there we go I need to go get some more XT Medium. Mm. Let's wait for two more hours and see how it goes. I know it's a waste of food, but eh. oh well, it's only five. Food is not even all that expensive in this game. Low. Great. Let's go out scavenging and see if we can find something. Oh, got some food here. So scavenging basically you get some randomly generated drops and. Fat, uh, the fat ass zombies can take uh, two hits to take two hits to drop, so be careful of that. Got a battery as well. Nice. Ah oh boy. Sorry about that, guys. Um, dog was barking there for a sec. Anyway, I'm back. So, um, that's actually all you have to do in the town. So, in the next part, we will uh, be leaving town and we will be heading out to um, the next uh, landmark or city and continuing on our quest in Oregon Trail. See you guys later.